Hi guys! Welcome sa Engine Herb Math Channel. Sa video na ito ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang Variance and Standard Deviation. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay tuturo ko naman sa inyo ang Variance and Standard Deviation. So, itong variance and standard deviation, isa siyang measure sa statistics ng spread or dispersion ng data. So, sa statistical distribution kasi, kailangan natin i-consider yung both central tendency at spread or variability ng data. So, yung sa measure of central tendency, dito pumapasok yung na-discuss ko na median, mode, and mean. So, ngayon, kapag measure naman ng spread or dispersion, Dito naman pumapasok yung variance and standard deviation. Okay? So, ano ba yung variance and standard deviation? So, they are measures that indicate how much the values of the set of data deviate or spread out from the mean. They show whether your data is close to the mean or fluctuates a lot. So, yun na nga, yung variance and standard deviation yung nagdedetermine kung gaano nagpa-fluctuate yung data sa mean. Okay? So, for example, itong distribution natin, meron tayong distribution A, B, at C. So, mapapansin nyo, iisa lang yung mean nila, which is the center. So, yung distribution sa A, masasabi natin na yung mga scores dito is yung pinaka-close doon sa mean. Kasi pinaka-malapit yung distribution sa mean, right? Then, sinundan itong distribution B, kung saan medyo spread out compare dito sa A. And lastly, yung pinaka greatest spread is itong C. Kasi compared sa dalawa, ito yung pinaka malawak yung kanyang distribution from the mean. Okay? So the closer the standard deviation is to zero, the lower the data variability and the more reliable the mean is. And the higher the standard deviation, the more variation there is in the data and the less accurate the mean is. Okay, so kung mas mababa yung value natin ng standard deviation, or close siya sa zero, then mababa rin yung variability ng ating data, and more reliable si mean. So tulad dito sa distribution A, masasabi natin na maliit yung kanyang standard deviation, kasi close yung distribution sa mean. And then, kapag higher standard deviation naman daw, the more variation there is in the data and the less accurate the mean is. So, kapag mataas naman yung value ng standard deviation, mas kalat yung spread ng data at less accurate yung mean. So, halimbawa ito, yung distribution sa C, medyo mataas yung kanyang standard deviation kasi yung distribution ng score is further away to the mean. Okay? So, consider na natin yung formula for finding the variance and standard deviation. So, meron tayong two types of variance and standard deviation, which is the sample variance and standard deviation, as well as the population variance and standard deviation. So, ano bang difference ng sample and population? So, yung population kasi, it includes all of the elements in the data set. So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng data is i-consider nyo sa paghahanap ng variance and standard deviation. So, for example, yung total population is 1,000. So, lahat ng 1,000 na people na yon is i-consider nyo yung data at yun yung hahanapan nyo ng variance and standard deviation. So, halimbawa nito is yung simple scores ng isang klase sa isang subject sa math. So, lahat ng mga involved na students doon sa class na yon lahat ng scores nila is considered as a population kasi lahat ng scores nila sa specific subject is kinocompute ng isang teacher. Okay? Then kapag sample naman, it is a subset of data that includes one or more elements from the population. So from the word itself, sample, hindi lahat ng data dun sa population is masasama doon sa pagcompute natin ng variance and standard deviation. Subset part lang or part lang ng data. So, minsan kasi, hindi naman kasi talaga natin makukuha lahat ng data sa isang population. Particularly kapag nationwide population, hindi natin makukompute yun. So, ginagawa ng mga statistician is, kumukuha lang ng sample doon sa population at doon sila nag-a-analyze ng statistical data. Okay? 
So, yung formula natin for sample variance and standard deviation is for the variance, we have summation of x sub i minus x bar quantity squared divided by n minus 1 and standard deviation is square root ng summation of x sub i minus x bar quantity squared over n minus 1. Where v is the variance, s d is the standard deviation, x sub i is the individual values in the set data, x bar is the mean of all values, and n is the total number of x values in the set. Okay, so mapapansin nyo, yung variance sa standard deviation, almost similar lang sila, kaso, yung standard deviation is e square root mo lang yung variance. Right? So, this symbol, sigma, is used for summation. Ibig sabihin, isa sum up natin yung difference nung data na x sub i minus doon sa mean or x sub bar, then i-square natin, tsaka natin i-divide doon sa n minus 1. For sample variance, ha? And then, yung standard deviation nga is, kung ano man nakuha natin dito sa variance, i-square root lang natin. Okay? So, mamaya, papakita naman natin yung step-by-step -step procedure. And then, for the population variance and standard deviation, same lang din halos ito sa formula, sa sample variance and standard deviation. Ang pinagkaiba lang is, kung sa sample variance and standard deviation, yung denominator natin is n-1, kapag population variance naman, yung denominator lang natin is n. Okay, nawala yung minus 1. Okay? So, para may illustrate yung paghanap ng variance and standard deviation of Specific data is magsalt tayo ng examples. For the first problem, we have find the mean, variance, and standard deviation of the following data. Student, Jason, Andy, Rose, Mark, Richard, Jonalyn, Joseph, Physics Exam Score, 85, 76, 73, 80, 72, 81, and 79. Okay, so hanapin daw natin yung mean, variance, and standard deviation of these physics exam scores of different students. So, let's start with finding the mean muna. So, base dun sa video ko, yung formula natin nung mean or average yun, right? Equal siya saan? So, i-add natin lahat nung data or yung physics exam score na 85 plus 76 plus 73 plus 80 plus 72 plus 81 plus 79. So, ilan ba sila lahat? Pito, right? Yung sum na to, i-divide natin kung ilan sila lahat, which is pito nga. So, divided by 7. So, therefore, parang yung ending natin dito is 7. Okay? Yung total number of data. And then, in symbol, base dun sa formula natin kanina sa taas, itong mean is equal din dito sa x bar, right? Okay? So, pag sinolve natin to, anong sagot? Exacto, 78. So, therefore, x bar or the mean is equal to 78. Okay? Okay, next. Hanapin na natin yung variance and standard deviation. So, para maganda yung pag-solve natin is gawa tayo ng table. So, gawa tayo ng column for xi. Or sa example natin, ito yung mga specific physics exam score, right? So, x sub i natin is 85, 76, 73, 80, 72, 81, and 79. So, medyo iurong ko to. Okay? And then, kailangan natin sa formula is yung difference nung bawat data doon sa mean, right? So, gawa rin tayo ng column doon. X sub i minus x bar. So, kanina nakuha na natin yung mean natin na 78. So, therefore, isa-isay natin isubtract itong x sub i doon sa mean para masulat natin dito sa column na x sub i minus x bar. So, 85 minus 78, ilan yun? 7. Then, 76 minus 78 is negative 2. So, okay lang yung negative kasi mamaya i-square naman natin siya. 73 minus 78 is negative 5. 80 minus 78 is 2. 72 minus 78 is negative 6. 81 minus 78 is 3. And then, 79 minus 78 is 1. And then, after nating makuha yung difference na to, di ba i-square pa natin yan sa formula? So, therefore, hanapin din natin yung x sub i minus x bar quantity squared. So, yung mga nakuha nating data under the column x sub i minus x bar, square lang natin to lahat. Right? 
So, 7 square is 49. Negative 2 quantity square is positive 4. Negative 5 quantity square is 25. 2 square is 4. Negative 6 quantity square is 36. And then 3 squared is 9. Then 1 squared is 1. So, mapapansin nyo, under this column, dahil in-square natin, lahat na sila positive. So, yun yung purpose natin kung bakit tayo nag-square para mag treat doon sa negative. Kasi pag sinamap mo itong negative, parang mababalawala yung pagkuha natin ng difference ng data doon sa mean. Kasi gusto natin mahanap yung standard deviation or dispersion. Kaya, in-square natin para totally, hindi tayo magsusubtract ng data kasi puro positive sila, right? Okay? So, ngayon, after natin makompute itong mga columns na to, pwede natin itong sum up per column. So, dito sa x sub i, although hindi na natin kailangan itong x sub i kasi nakuha na natin yung average, right? Pero isum up pa rin natin. So, kanina nakuha natin dyan is 546, right? Itong column na to for x sub i minus x bar is parang hindi naman siya mahalaga. Ang mahalaga is itong x sub i minus x bar quantity squared. So, ito na lang yung isum up natin. Okay? So, ilan yan? So, 49 plus 4 plus 25 plus 4 plus 36 plus 9 plus 1 is what? 128. Okay? So, pwede na nating mahanap yung variance and standard deviation. So, add muna tayo sa variance. So, gamitin natin yung population variance kasi lahat ng mga student dito sa data natin is in-involve. Okay? So, therefore, ang formula natin is summation of xi minus x bar quantity squared over n, right? So, kanina nakuha na natin yun. Sinamap na natin to, right? Equal siya sa 128. Then, divide kung ilan sila lahat na n, which is 7. So, ilan to? 18.29. And then, yung standard deviation is square root lang natin kung ano man nakuha natin dito sa Variant. So, diba, ito siya yung 128 divided by 7. Square root niyan is what? Approximately 4.28. So, therefore, the mean is 78, the variance is 18.29, and the standard deviation is 4.28. Okay? Next, we have a library surveys 20 borrowers each day from Monday to Friday and records the number who are not satisfied with the range of reading materials. The results are 3, 7, 6, 8, and 11. So, find the mean, variance, and standard deviation of the data. So, yung library daw ay nag-survey sa 20 borrowers each day mula Monday to Friday about yung number ng tao na hindi satisfied doon sa range ng reading materials. Tapos, ito ra yung mga naging results nila. So, from Monday to Friday, we have 3, 7, 6, 8, and 11. So, find the mean, variance, and standard deviation of the data. Okay, so sige, gawa ulit tayo ng table. So, for the column ng x sub i, we have yung data na to, yung lima. 3, 7, 6, 8, 11. And then, x sub i minus x bar. So, kunin muna natin yung mean. So, sum up natin itong column for x sub i or yung data, ilan to? 3 plus 7 plus 6 plus 8 plus 11 is 35. So, therefore, yung mean natin or x bar is yung sum nila na 35 divided by kung ilan sila. N natin is 5, right? So, 35 divided by 5 is 7. So, therefore, the mean is 7. So, hanapin natin yung difference isa-isa nitong data doon sa mean na 7. So, 3 minus 7 is negative 4. 7 minus 7 is 0. 6 minus 7 is negative 1, 8 minus 7 is 1, and 11 minus 7 is 4. And then, column naman for the square nitong difference nung data doon sa x bar or mean. So, square natin tong lahat ng data na to. So, negative 4 quantity square is 16, 0 square is 0, negative 1 quantity square is 1, 1 square is 1, then 4 squared is 16. So, add na lang natin itong column for xi minus x bar quantity squared. So, ilan lahat yan? 16 plus 0 plus 1 plus 1 plus 16 is 34. So, pwede nating hanapin yung variance and standard deviation. So, gamitin na lang natin uli yung population variance and standard deviation. So, yung formula doon is 
variance is summation of x i minus x bar quantity squared over n. So, ano ba yung summation ng x i minus x bar quantity squared? Itong 34. Then, divided by n, which is 5. So, 34 divided by 5 is 6.8. And then, para masolve si standard deviation, square root lang natin yung nakuha nating variance na 6.8. So, ano yung square root ng 6.8? Approximately 2.61. So, therefore, the mean is 7, the variance is 6.8, and the standard deviation is 2.61. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video, variance and standard deviation. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panunood.